Hey everybody, this is a show I went to before the end of the year with my 25-year-old rescue pony, Verna. Um, this is a beginner hunter class, so we just walk, trot, canter on the flat and then do a little course of cross rails. Here we are! <laughs> slow mo here because Vernon was a crazy pants with all of the other horses cantering around. I thought I'd take the rest of the time to talk about the show itself. So we were in a class of about 13. So what they do with a California split is I believe if there's riders any more than 12, they basically place you, rather than doing placing 1 through 13, they place you in ties. Uh, so tie for first place, tie for second place, etc., etc., down until um, you get to the end of the class. So we were tied for fourth, which I just thought was amazing because it was his first show ever, as far as I know, at age 25. I've had him, I had had him only for a couple months at that point. And there we are again on the left, me in the gray coat. Um, and we hadn't even really done cross rails. And there's our canter takeoff. Now going to the left is his bad way. So we took off on the right lead and he had that right as in right, not correct. He had that problem basically the whole time, but um, this is just a schooling show. They're pretty generous. So I was really proud of him. The first class was Hunter Under Saddle. So it's just their suitability for the discipline and he ranked tied for fourth. So I was really happy. There we are again. Um, it was interesting to see all the different types of horses that were here. And if you watch a whole class, it's neat to see how they all move, how they respond to their riders. 
how their trot is fast or slow, how fast they come back down. Um, I thought it was <laughs> really funny that the judge made, just, made us all canter at the same time. Uh, 13 horses, even though it's a large ring, 13 horses cantering around got a little crazy. And then they ask you to reverse. So it's basically walk, trot, walk, canter, then reverse, then walk, trot, walk, canter again, and then line up in the center. Um, and that's for all three flat classes. So like you can see that black horse there broke gate into the canter. Sorrel looks good. This one with the white sock looks good. This paint one fussing a little. It's just kind of neat to see where they placed everybody, especially when you record the whole class. You can see how all the horses did and then how they all placed. Um, and then compare that with yourself. This was a neat view and we're all cantering and now everybody's coming towards the camera I just had set up on a side post. Um, see, looking at all the different speeds. Um, everybody's trying to stay on the outside, but of course each horse is at different rates. There's me and Bernie again. I'm going to the right is obviously his best way. This horse here was a bit crazy. That black one too. Everybody had calmed down a little bit by the second class, sort of getting used to everybody moving around. And here's a clip of the third class. Just for fun, this was the pleasure class. So it's how comfortable or how easy the horse looks to ride, how comfortable you look riding the horse. And we tied for sixth as well in that one. And that's it for the group classes. So now we all file out and then we all have to do two rounds each of a little cross rail course. Um, that didn't go so well for us because Vernon and I had practiced some cross rails at home, but um, the height was not as high as the ones here at the competition. Um, even though they were supposed to be, I measured, but uh, they had left them a little higher, so he wasn't really ready for that. But it was fine, it was our first show out. I was really happy, especially for him placing fourth. Um, the sixth was my problem, you know. Um, he, he was a very energetic, and even though he's 25 years old, he is not ready to retire at all. So he was just raring to go, and I thought, well, we'll just let him go. With all the horses cantering, he just wanted to run around like crazy. I had to hold him back so much, and I just have a simple snaffle bit, but he, he respects it pretty good. So I was happy with that, um, and that was our first show, so he did great, and I'm really proud of him. So this is our failure of a jump round. Here we go. You come in, trot your little circle, and then you run through the course, and of course he was, after having all the horses in the arena at the same time, now he was like, why am I in here by myself? So, and of course he's not a show pony. So here we go, we come up to the first one, and he's like, nope, I'm just walking over it. <laughs> so I thought, okay, we'll try the second one. We canter off. And he was like, nope, he just stopped right at it. So I thought, well, he doesn't feel like it. And, you know, he's older. I'm not going to push him or whip him or smack him or whatever. So I thought, well, we'll just call it a day. <laughs> and out we trotted and scratched those last two classes. So it's just a good experience for him to get out there and for us to be out there together. <laughs> it doesn't always go as planned, but it's still fun. That's it for this video. If you like it, like it for Vernon getting some ribbons and we'll see you in the next one.